Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth! I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's August 11th, 2021, and we've got a rarity today in Shenanigans Card Park. Release day rippage! And a hobby box to boot! It is Ginter Geek Out time, and I want to take a quick second to say why you shouldn't sleep on A&G. I know it isn't a product for everyone because some folks don't really dig the non-sports inserts, but for true collectors, those who hunt for rarity and variations, Ginter is great. Uh, in the dugout and on the outfield wall today are some of the cards I'm talking about really quickly. You got printing plates like the Corey Seager one one that got me back into the hobby. Really nice frame mini uh, relics. You got, look at this, baby. This is technically a rookie card relic from A&G, Aaron Judge, 9.5, a beauty. Things like A&G backs, which I pulled this a while ago, and don't sleep on them because not only do you have A&G backs, you have no number A&G backs, uh, and you always want to check that because those are only 50, 50 print run in the world. Got some of the frame mini autographs like this Max Muncy had a Ginter X number to 50. Of course, hot boxes like a potential AL MVP 2019 hot box Shohei Otani. Pulled that out of a blaster. A little Dansby Swanson autograph. Of course, box toppers like number two, Derek Jeter. Number two. Love it. I'm a Ginter geek. I hope that. Uh, you enjoy it as much as I do. If you haven't ripped it before, go ahead and go out there and try to find yourself some and get into the rippage. Now, the thing that one always worries about is the dreaded triple relic hobby box. If you saw Haas of Cards, who dropped his hobby box break today, uh, he had one of those dreaded triple relic hobby boxes, but the break was saved because he got a triple rip card box topper of Teddy Ball Game. That's basically four hits in one. Uh, so that could happen as well. Now, my last hobby box of Ginter uh, that I ripped, I got at the National, and my big hit was a Lou Gehrig, Don Mattingly, double rip card, numbered 7 out of 10. And on that note, the Lucky Cup that delivered that monster is back in Shenanigans Card Park today, hopefully to deliver that kind of quality. I hope it's feeling homerish, not just hitterish, but homerish. Let's pull a monster or two. As always, check the description below for the link to the Clary Skolberg Scholarship. If you see cards you like, they can be yours for a pledge. I know we don't rip a lot of hobby boxes uh, on the show here, so it does take a little bit longer. So since we got the Lucky Cup, get yourself a beverage, hunker down. Oh, we didn't get a triple rip card. We got one of the N43s, uh, which could be autographed. So we'll save that guy for the end. Now, I got this box at Game Day Sports Cards in Vegas. Here is a little ad if you want to put your phone up. Maybe you can you know, use the little barcode thing here. Uh, and I got up early in the morning. I went down there and got it on release day. And same time, uh, Topps released them today. Uh, online, so they are up there, but they were $150 a piece on tops. Uh, this was $125, so I feel like I did really well uh, on that front. I'll definitely go back uh, and check out the guys over at Game Day. Let's do a quick look here, see nothing extra thick, no nothing extra thick, nothing extra thick. Only wanted to check that because you never know, you might have a booklet did pull a booklet back uh, a while back. That's why I love Ginter. Just so many cool inserts. We will be covering, obviously, some of our hits here along the way. Hits from previous years. We're already four and a half minutes in, so we'll pick up the pace a little bit. Nice Bobby Dahl back. Mr. Kim. Ha-Sung Kim. Filling in for Tatis. Larry Doby. Oh, we're coming out hot. Bummer. Uh, with So it could be a triple relic box. I actually pulled a Colin Moran autograph out of Gypsy Queen a couple years back. So not a great start. 
Nice Ryan Sandberg mini. Can't really complain about that. We'll set this guy back here. It's not going to, that doesn't get to cover the true hits. And I did notice that other people were getting their hits really early on. So let's mix it up. They were pulling all their hits in like the first couple packs. So now we know we're not going to have that kind of problem. <laughs> we're not going to spoil the fun. But Lucky Cup, I mean, you got to do better than that. I mean, I did pick this box, so I guess if it's a bummer, it's really on me. That's the same image they've used for other Fernando Tatis cards. There's the Trevor Lawrence. Yes. Old looking Carl Yastrzemski, the later age. Birds of a feather. Always the fun little, kind of like I said, the non-sports inserts. The more I've been ripping Ginter and discovering things like the no, no number A and G backs, uh, I've pulled a number of those over the years. Pulled a um, Chipper Jones of that. So when you think about the fact that there's only 50 of them in the world, Hideki Matsui, thanks Tom Seaver. All right, is our first A and G back. Looks nice. It's a numbered version. Or Kirby Puckett, uh, historical hits. I'll talk a little bit about some of the other ones that I read up a little bit on uh, of the unique inserts that they've got here in A&G this year. Zach Wheeler uh, in the running for Cy Young, I would say. All the Braves, that's nice Jackie Robinson there. Nice little tree action. Now, I don't think there's anything that glows in the dark this year. Uh, that was a really fun where monsters live. Of course, I, you know, I'm starting to feel a little bit like maybe we're not going to get a great box here, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Hey, Sue Sanchez. We got a black border mini of Michael Soroka. So I'm glad I got one of these early. Uh, I wanted to mention them because I know other people have been talking about these. The Murad, uh, and if you're not familiar, I looked into it. Murad was a tobacco company back in the early 1900s. Uh, and so this is sort of like a revision, um, uh, reimagining of the Murad cards from the early aughts and into like the early 20s, I want to say. All right, Lucky Cup. You like to be in use, so I'm having a sip, and you better start to show out for the folks at home. Josh Bell, Kraken. Is that Tyler Stevenson? Yeah. Michelle Leakers. Backwards is always, that kind of throws me. I keep thinking maybe that'll be something cool. Like a Brooklyn back, right, which would be hand numbered to 25. Did pull two of those uh, in my time ripping Allen and Ginter. One uh, was a Johnny Damon that I passed along to a fab sub. And the other was a guy from um, History Channel, one of the uh, deep uh, sea fishing one, or the... Whatever they were doing. I, I never watched the show, but that guy. Still have that one. Derek Lee. Oof, we are SP, but no one's chasing Derek Lee. Cody Bellinger, looks like. Yep. I do like him. Murad cards, pretty cool. I think we're making pretty good time. We're bombing through it so far. I like the design, but yeah, we are not delivering big hits yet. Still no Jazz Chisholm. I never pull Jazz Chisholm. Nice Lou Bob, who is back. He and Eli uh, Eloy Jimenez both back. Uh, Berrios, also an SP. I like the look of the black borders. This is a much more colorful Ginter set this year. 
Um, usually, you know, it change, as we can see here, the, the way it kind of changes over time. Um, but they haven't really done a lot of this like kind of ribboning and that kind of thing. Usually it's a little more sparse. So adding some color, trying to mix it up, I guess. At least we haven't pulled all three of our hits right off the top. But of course, that Colin Moran, a bit disappointing. There's Eloy. Snellzilla having a good uh, having a good comeback. He was, you know, not pitching well. Now he's pitching pretty well. Nice. Corey Seager also back. UNLV's own Randall Cunningham. Polar Bear. The Bull Shark. Deep Sea Shiver. Nice. I don't know if there's any uh, of the inserts like that this year that have that sort of uh, puzzle aspect to them. They had other ones in the past where you could line them all up and they would create like a, a complete piece of art in and of themselves, which is pretty cool. Luis Patino. I think it was a former Padre. Now, I think he was part of that Jake Cronenworth deal, I want to say, perhaps. The oft-injured Anthony Rendon, Eddie Murray, A&G back, numbered. All right, come on now. Where are my Yankees? Where is Jake Cronenworth? I don't know if Trent Grisham is in here or not. Crochet. I'm going to guess that's how you pronounce that. Not crochet. Sisto Sanchez. Kim Eng, the first female general manager in baseball history. General manager of the Marlins. Pretty cool. Of course, these would all look really nice signed. Alex Kirilov. The Crime Dog. Also an SP. Well, we're racking up the SP minis. Uh... Speaking of the crime dog, at the end of the video, I will link, you know, the little boxes and also I'll do the eye right now where uh, you can go back and watch some of the other episodes of Ginter Rips, like when I found the fat pack that had the dual auto relic booklet of Freddie Freeman and the crime dog Fred McGriff. Christian Pache. Silent T, so silent, the T's not even in there. Yogi, I think that's an SP actually. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, the mascots in real life. Quick shout out to Like a Hawk because he does collect the mascots out of opening day. And I'm curious, Like a Hawk, if this is now going to be a new PC you're going to have to start. The mascots in real life. I don't know who to cover up here. Well, let's set him back here in between those guys. All right, we must be getting close to our other two hits. All right, Mike Trout. I want to say that's also an image they have used before. So now I've seen a couple of cards that they have taken to image reuse on. Kyle Tucker. Nice. Gaylord Perry for the Cleveland Guardians. Are you a believer? Another ANG back. I want to say regular ANG backs fall about one in ten packs. Um, right? Like I said, no numbers are numbered, uh, not numbered at all. They are only 50 in existence. That's why I think a lot of people shouldn't skip over it, right? You know, always check your ANG back for no numbers. I've certainly fell prey to it in the past of missing out on those and then finding them along the way later on. Uh, nice. Albert Abreu. Urias. Far, far away. So this is like not constellations, but um, I'm like galaxies. <laughs> I was just noticing the credit NASA and ESA there. Usually these kind of unique minis are a little bit of a tougher pull. Let's shift our stack here and hope that we can get something really good here. All right, Lucky Cup, one more sip. 
do not disappoint, although it is card collecting shenanigans, and if you're a long time watcher, you should be used to watching breaks that wind up not being great. <laughs> Which is what makes the really good ones really good. Dalton Varsho, as I always say, sounds like a Marvel villain. Three rookies in a row. Four rookies in a row. Oh, guys, are you feeling it? Are you feeling the dreaded triple relic box? Hashtag KB for the PC forever. And they're the full size. I much prefer the frame minis. KB. Nice smiling Chris Bryant right there. Whew, okay. Feeling a little... Mm, what What is the word? Not disappointed yet, but... Not really uh, worried, maybe? Losing confidence? Clark Schmidt? Brubaker? <laughs> Uncle Larry, that's a nice McCutcheon. Of course, the classic flagship SP of that. Daniel Kim? KBO baseball analyst. In those pandemic months of watching the KBO, that is another ANG back. All right, we got to get, we got, how many packs here we got left? Looks about six or seven, give or take. Eight. All right. Come on now, Lucky Cup, and player to be named later. This is on both of you. If we do not have a solid hit coming up, it's on you. Of course, the slap shot guys are, are in this set. Nice Johnny Bench. Mo Rivera. That's an SP. A lot of times the retired guys will be SPs. A mackerel shark. The deeper we get... The more troublesome the box becomes, I should have let the other guy pick it for me. Looks like I think we got that maybe another hit. Maybe not thick enough. Alec Baum, okay. I was talking to the guys in the card shop about feeling fortunate that I got back into collecting. There's Davy Garcia uh, in the 2018 year, right, when we were spoiled by all the rookies in there. Um, you're right, Otani and Soto and Acuna and Glaber, Albies. And so when you were able to walk into a store and just buy some blasters and buy some stuff, and you wind up with a lot of those great rookie cards, and that we're not able to do that right now. Looks like that's two. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe get all three of the, uh, the brothers there from Slapshot. Bobby Moynihan. AJ Puck. Is that Tatis? All right. Alec Bohm. Nice rookie card mini. Never disappointed to get some Fernando Tatis. Tatis says Tata -ta ball. I'm still not. Uh, I keep looking to see if the, there's anything extra thick there. And we got four packs to go. Noma. Yeah, Noma can get back there with himself. Almost looks like the same picture. Bianca Smith. Whoa. Another ANG back. So at least in a hobby box, the A and G backs are falling much more frequently than one in ten packs. All right, Joey Bart. I would say you know at least for it looks like that's our triple relic, right there. I'm gonna say. No, I'm wrong. Okay, good. Woo, that was a close one. Because we already know now we didn't get the triple rip card. Nice Andre Dawson is Expo's year. Nice Ryan Mountcastle. Oh, nice DJ LeMayhew Black Border coming around. Right, he was getting a little bit of attention for not hitting uh, like he did last year. I think that might be the hit. 
Uh, and then it, I was reading that he had a little bit of a bicep injury that had kind of been nagging him all season, and it's finally gotten to the point where he's uh, feeling good, you know, mostly healed up, and so now he's back to producing a little bit more like the DJ LeMahieu we're used to. Good for you. Nice Ernie Banks, Murad. This was one I was curious about. This is a whole mini subset of like vegetables, fruits and vegetables. All right, last two packs. We had like first pack uh, spark, not fire. And, <laughs> and now we're going to hopefully have some last pack mojo. Again, Canseco with Tampa Bay. I think they did that last year, too. Willie McCovey. Shout out Paul Reyes, his favorite player. All right. Last pack mojo. It does feel ever so slightly thicker. It looks like it's going to be a framed something. So here's our mini... Brad Keller. All right. Let's hope it's an auto. Something like maybe my first Mike Trout auto or something just bonkers like that. Oh, well, here we go. Tatis. Oh, not an auto, but a bat relic. The dreaded triple relic box. But... If you've heard me say it recently, it's in there really tight. Um, I'm really starting to dig uh, right now. I'm in a bit of a groove on enjoying bat relics because they just look cool. Um, this one, I got to say, doesn't look quite as cool as a lot of other ones because it looks like it's maybe like cut from the middle of the bat. So we're not seeing a lot of grain. It just feels very raw. But at least it is a PC player. A real shame, no autos, but we did pull the Dansby out of a blaster earlier. Maybe this will be autoed. Uh, highly unlikely, but I guess I, I didn't pick very well. I chose poorly. Pete Alonzo. Well, there you have it. I would say some classic shenanigans. Um, maybe just slightly out of the, just uh, on the border of classic shenanigans. I'm sorry to disappoint the viewers at home. I am definitely a little disappointed. It was still a fun rip. Uh, I do wish we had pulled, you know, a big monster auto or something like that or gotten a rip card. Uh, but that's just how it goes. These are, you know, it is 2020, 2021. And uh, just, you know... This is what life is like now. Disappointment abounds. Uh, but I hopefully will be able to get my hands on some blasters. Uh, maybe I'll go order some right now. Uh, see if we can't add to uh, the collection a little bit and mix it up. Uh, but like I said, uh, it's always fun. There's always wonky things. I might even go through here and find more things I missed this first time around. Uh, but please do leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the rippage. I always look forward to reading those. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.